Come on. We got him! Oh my god, we got him. We got him. Breedable elemental feather lights. That is absolutely insane. Okay, guys, they are going to hatch any minute now. I'm really looking forward to this. I wonder what color they're going to be. I hope we get some beautiful colored ones like the male. Oh my god, we did! That is amazing! Come on, little guy. Oh, he's beautiful! He just jumped off the edge. <laughs> Doing 8,000 already? Oh my god, we got it. Did we get any good stuff as well? Eh, decent crossbow, I guess. What's up, guys? It's Unreal Sentinel, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. We're playing on the Omega Tribe server. Playing with Primal Fear, which is one of my most favorite mods of all time. In the last episode, we got these Alpha Dimorphodons. I'm really happy with these things. The babies are actually all grown now. I'm going to go ahead and turn this to manual. I'm not going out there until <laughs> until 12 o'clock. And the server does its rewipe of all the dinos. Because there is a Celestial out there. And I don't want to risk it, you know? I'd rather just wait. It's currently 11 o'clock in UK time, so... I think I'm going to cut ahead until the server's done its free wipe, because I'm a coward. I'm not going out there. <laughs> no way in hell. But in the meantime, we can do some stuff in the base. In this episode, I do want to finish off the base. I want to make this place look really cool, because right now it's just a cave with kind of moved everything into a couple of foundations that's not really a base is it so we gotta make this place look really cool you know maybe maybe install a christmas mod you know add, add some christmas stuff that would be nice um what i also want to do is get a primal uh, a primal rifle i always get the primal rifle and the primal tech rifle confused but yeah i want to get a primal rifle and move on to the trank darts because we're going after the elemental tier today and they are no joke I believe it's Elemental that comes next, right? Is it Elemental or is it Apex? It's the Elemental Kibble, the basic Elemental Kibble. Alright guys, the server has not restarted yet, but I'm just thinking maybe we could get ourselves some more armor. Just in the meantime, because that dino outside is beginning to worry me. <laughs> and I just want to make sure we have the best armor we can possibly get. So I'm looking for the Alpha Flak stuff. Uh, alpha flak chest plate. We already have leggings. We just need the gauntlets and the chest plate, right? And we can afford the alpha. We've killed so many alphas. We've tamed alphas. We've got this. All right, guys. There's our chest plate and there is our gauntlet. So let's put these on and we should be good to go. Oh, yeah. Full metal armor. Nice. All right, guys. Just before the server restarts, I also want to get some health potions, because if we're going to be going after elementals, man, that does not sound good out there. So glad I'm waiting for the server to restart. <laughs> anyway, if we're going after elementals, we're going to need decent health potions. So, I'm thinking, can we get about 10 of these things? We have rare flowers and rare mushrooms already, so we, do we, can we get one? We just need crystal. I have crystal on me. How many can we get out of 10? How many can we get out of 10? Let's have a look. No item selected. Here we go. Okay, we can get about six. Now, I do want to test this because since Genesis Part 2, a lot of mods' potions have actually been uh, broken. So I want to see if these actually work. Doesn't seem like it. Wait, no, no, it's it's healing. Yeah, it's broken. Heals five percent of the max health per second over fifty. Oh wow. Okay, so it, it does do that, but over fifteen seconds. So if we go up against an elemental, we're going to have to back off and use one of those potions. So I like that. It has definitely healed him up, but it's healing him up very, very slowly. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah. Okay, I am terrified. I'm just going to wait out until the server restarts. Welcome back, guys. The server just restarted, and take a look at this. We got the automation system online. 
And this thing has been passively generating nothing but poop and eggs the whole time, which is absolutely insane. I was having a problem with this one. This one doesn't really do that much. This does mean that we'd have to pick up the females and put them into soul orbs, but means that we're only using that one male anyway. They have all grown up, so that is pretty amazing. Uh, you're female, right? You are male. That means you're a female. Alright, so let's pick up this one. This was the one we originally used. Uh, let's take that, and I believe... Did I miss a bag full of meat here? I did. We're pretty low on meat, so it's nice to have that. Alright, so, this episode, I want to get a primal rifle. A good primal rifle as well. I do want to build a primal rifle to begin with, and then I want to find a blueprint to a godlieth one. Because they are way better than the originals. So, this does mean we'd actually need, um these alpha eggs and we don't have many of them actually that's probably not true do we have a load in here okay so we got 10 we got 10 that's enough for what five anyway um i have been worried about the uh this guy here because he had twenty thousand health which was insane he actually never healed up so we are gonna have to waste one of our healing potions on him if we can just... Wow, look how much she's pooping, just healing that health. That's insane. That is insane. Wow, I love it. I love it. All right, uh, let's get him a level up counter and a pickup relic and go ahead and try him out. Uh, I What I do want to do is find a blueprint for the primal rifle. I did say I was going to build one, but I do want to find a blueprint if I can. So I'm going to go around for a while just killing... Wow. All right, guys, it just turned morning and there is a demonic parasaur out here. So we did find this Alpha Brachiosaurus and I've been trying to take it down. We got a good couple of levels in melee. I think we put about four in and we're already hitting for 2,300, which is absolutely insane. And this guy's got insane health, so we're definitely not going to die anytime soon. Well, not unless that, you know, demonic parasaur decides to jump down and destroy us. But let's not think about that. Yeah, the plan for today is to try and get a primal tech rifle. And so I'm going to get as much loot as humanly possible to try and get a blueprint. Uh, we did get some kind of gun there. Ah, Mastercraft shotgun. It's not going to give us loot, but I did find a tech Stegosaurus that will help us out with electronics. Hell yeah, 64 electronics. Ooh, that guy hits a lot. It's a 560. Damn. Alpha Stego, huh? Oh god, they can hit through the mount. Jeez, they are no laughing matter, are they? The Alpha Stegos, they can do a ton of damage. Man, we got to kill this thing. Before it kills us. Did we get any loot from that? I don't think we did. Hey guys, look at this broken ship. That's kind of cool. I like that. This map is amazing. And we still haven't even traveled to the new realms in it yet. Because everything is separated by realms. You've got the overworld. Then I believe Valheim. And ooh, that looks like a primal deck. No, it's just an alpha defense unit. Trank arrows. Okay, we're getting alpha blood, which is brilliant. I'm definitely for getting alpha blood. Can we take on this? <gasps> we just took on a fabled. Come on, we should have got the loot from that. Devastated. Could this be the one? Ascendant Godliest Metal Pick. Is that an actual pick? I, I didn't see a pick blueprint. A fabled woolly rhino. Oh, I can't kill Rudolph near Christmas. Stay away, Rudolph. I don't want you to get involved in this. This rhino is going to screw us up, isn't it? It's going to destroy us. I refuse to... Wow. Um... Elf potion? <laughs> it's passive healing, so thank God for that. 
Oh man. Its damage isn't great, is it? It can destroy us in like two hits. We have to get two more hits on it though as well. Don't do that one more hit and we got this thing. Oh my god, we got it. I saw it. I saw it. It's either a... Oh my god, we've got it. I need 600. It's not even a blueprint. It's the actual rifle. Holy crud, we've got... We... I can't believe that. We actually got a primal fabricated sniper rifle. And it hasn't even been 10 minutes. That's insane. I'm over the moon. We got to augment that thing. The primal rifles can go all the way to six, to 750 instead of 700. So they're absolutely incredible. Because I think it's ascendant that can go up to 700 damage and then you've got the um the the godliest tiers that can go up to 750 so it's always worth upgrading to the next tier all right guys here we are back at the base and the insane lag of loading a cave that's not great there's a celestial back out there <laughs> amazing it's not like we stopped the entire server just to get rid of one of those or anything. So that is a celestial spawn point. Good to know. We have got so much loot from that. So 645%. That is an amazing sniper rifle. I want to see if we can get these darts up and running. So for the primal rifle bullets, we're going to need advanced sniper bullets, which means we're going to need a fabricator and all the metals and stuff um what we can do is we can just skip the entire fabrication process and get a smaller fabricator if we have electronics which we do because we've been killing a load of dinosaurs for them so we should be able to get a generator yeah let's just get all of this stuff unlocked first and then i'll meet you guys back when we're building all the machinery all right guys i found a place near base that gets a lot of obsidian and crystal and I'm out looking for metal because in order to get the fabricator we need a lot more metal and also this obsidian is going to help us get our um, our teleporters online so that's going to be really useful so I'll meet you guys back when we've got all of the resources mined and then we can go ahead and just make our fabricator and then Get all our bullets and our trank stuff. And wow, look at this. It's like a small little base area. Wow. Should we check it out? Might as well while we're here, right? This is so cool. Damn. This, this is really sick. It's like a long-lost human settlement. Oh, that is so cool. I love this. Are these lootable? Oh, you have to hit it to harvest it. Oh, we just got a load of um, scrap metal and stuff from that. That's insane. I love that. That's cool. I'll meet you guys back at the base. I hate those wyverns. All right, let's get all the loot and start making all of our stuff necessary to tame those elementals and maybe get ourselves an indom because that would be absolutely incredible. All right, guys, we finally got enough for our fabricator. And this thing is great because it's really small, so it doesn't take up that much room at all. So we can place that there and maybe the generator next to it. Did I leave the generator in the S plus crafter? I did. All right, let's just move that there and there. And then place these down. So we have... And I like the S Plus variant. Because as long as you got the electronics... Um, can we disable the snapping? There we go. As long as you got the electronics for it, you can just build it. And it's great for mods like Primal Fear. Specifically because you get a ton of them from the tech dinos that spawn. So that is really damn useful. We just do that. And then get the outlet box. And attach that to the top. All right, I'm going to go get some... I think we have some oil somewhere. We're bound to have oil, right? 
after everything we've killed, there's bound to be one dino that's got us oil. Yep, Dimorphodon, 40. I knew it. All right, so let's go ahead and put hide in there. Actually, let's get 20 of those out because, you know, you never know when you're going to need oil. And let's just go ahead and smelt that for the... And this will make it in bulk as well. So it makes bulk of 15 gasoline, which is really damn useful. So let's go ahead and put the gasoline in there and light it on. And boom, we got power. And now we can turn this thing on. And we got an early fabricator without having to do all the stuff. So sniper rifle bullets, advanced sniper bullet. This is what we need and we need a lot of it. So we're going to need a lot of gunpowder, which means we're going to need a lot of charcoal, which means we're going to need a lot of campfires and I'll be back once I've done that. All right, guys, we only had enough for 66, but I think it makes two. No, it only makes. OK, so we only had enough for 66 of the sniper bullets. We currently have a lot of gunpowder um, we're just making charcoal, really. And I mean, if I go here, I'll probably get about 400 or 200 if I was to pull uh, resources. Yeah, we just got about 40 there. So we got a load of charcoal on the way, which is amazing. Unlimited charcoal. I made so many campfires. And um, yeah, we can actually try and get the darts now, right? The bullets. Uh, so, it looks like we're going to need a lot more gunpowder. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys back once i got more gunpowder and we can craft these bullets. Alright guys, it has been a very long time. I've got like 700 gunpowder now, so we should be able to make a ton of these bullets. Is it going to be cementing paste? Yeah. That is unfortunate. We are going to have to get a lot of cementing paste. All right, guys. So we should now have the cementing paste for about, I think it's eight more. Oh, wow. We got enough for quite a few more. 49, almost a stack of 50. I think that'll do. So I'm going to get the, I'm not sure what narcotic to go for, to be honest. We already have the potent narcotics, but I think we're going to need a little bit stronger for an elemental. Maybe we go for something like an alpha-infused toxic narcotic. We could go for the apex. How much blood do we have saved? I keep all the blood in here. All right. Um, I actually have all the blood on me. That's not great. Oh, man, that must have been spoiling. All right. Uh, so let's transfer those in there. We could go for the Apex Blood. We've got a lot of Apex Blood. I mean, we did do a lot of risking it. So, you know, risk versus reward and everything. Let's go for the Apex Blood. So for the Apex Bullets, that would require Apex Infused Narcotics. Now, I'm hoping it's not a tier system. Because if it is a tier system, then, uh, yeah, it's a tier system. <laughs> Great. So we need the Toxic Narcotic and all those. Um... All right, guys, we finally have enough to get about 40 of the toxic narcotics. And now we can get the apex narcotics. So we can get about 40 bullets, which is going to be quite a lot. I think we have about that many. Yeah, we have about 40 of the primal uh, bullets anyway. So we can actually get the narcotics for the bullets, which is insane. That is amazing. Apex infused toxic narcotic. All right, guys, we have about 44 of the apex infused bullets now so we can knock out any dinosaur that we want. However, I do want to breed just a couple more of these alpha dimorphodons up because we're not getting that much alpha eggs. Now, I went out crafting and getting resources and I did manage to get about four of these AC units. So I think we can make a nice little breeding area for them over here. One, two, three, and four. Are they powered? Wait for it. All right, guys, we got all of our AC units online now. So I'll meet you guys back when all these eggs are about to hatch. This is going to be interesting. I wonder how many females we're going to get. All right, guys, they are about to hatch any second now. So I guess we'll see how many we have. I hope we don't get twins because we're going to have so many of the. Wow. That is a lot of alpha dimorphodons. Look how big they are when grown. It's insane. All right, we got a male. 
Uh, we're going to put you in a soul orb. We don't want you at the moment. I'm going to get all these guys sorted out first. All right, guys, we actually got a hell of a lot of females. I've moved all of the males into here because I, I didn't want them. I only wanted the females specifically because they lay the alpha eggs. So now we should be able to get enough kibble to get to the next stage. So we should be able to get the elemental kibble. The only thing we're missing would be the cooked prime meat, but we have prime meat in our dino over here if he hasn't ate it all. We did have about 200 last time. Uh, 300. Amazing. <laughs> I guess we had more than that. All right, so let's go ahead, put this in the campfire and start cooking it. All right, guys, welcome back. So we have a bulk feeder over here feeding all of them now. They're all female. They're all being uh, grown up. <laughs> They're all basically taking their time to grow up. And once they're fully grown, we can use them to get all the eggs we could possibly want. We have been cooking quite a lot of the prime meat. Now we have 28, so we can actually go out and start getting some decent dinosaurs. So if we can just get some elemental kibble uh, as much as we can possibly get. We have enough for four so far. And that's because of the eggs, isn't it? All right, guys, we are back. So obviously we need more alpha eggs now. So we've managed to get seven elemental kibbles. So I say we go out on the hunt and try and find some amazing elemental dinosaurs and maybe take down a uh, alpha Indominus Rex as well. I do want to see if the Indom is still there because... <clears throat> because it would be cool to have an Indominus Rex. I mean... If we can get an Indom, that would be amazing. Who cares if it's Alpha? I did find, um, I did actually find Apex Indominus Rexes, but they had like millions of health. And I don't want to risk that. But I know the Alpha Indoms were around here last time I saw them. All right, guys, I think I found the cave where the Featherlight spawn. If anybody wants to know its location, there it is on the map. So. I'm thinking we go for an elemental fire feather light or something. Now we're just going to die. Passive! Let's get out of this fire hellhole. Alright, um... Did we do it? Ah, uh, did we hit it? 100% timing effectiveness, and it just requires four elemental kibble. Oh my god, this is going to be a thing. This is going to be a thing. Come on, elemental kibble, don't you dare tell me I never brought it with me. God, I was worried then. I know. You can do this. All right, come on. Um, Can I give you a tame helper? Here you go. Come on, you can do it. One more bite. Oh my god. We have an elemental feather light. That's insane. That is insane. I don't know what the mic's doing up there. Does my mic do that the whole time? Guys, I'm so sorry. I never realized the mic was up there the whole time. I hope the audio isn't too bad. But this is absolutely insane. I can't believe this. All right, guys. We are back at the base. I apologize for the audio dub, but my... OBS glitched up with the audio, so it's kind of annoying. However, all of these guys are fully evolved now, so we can get more of the alpha stuff, which is absolutely insane. All those alpha eggs are going to help us out drastically when it comes to getting all of the... Um, how many does these have in them? Uh, about nine each. That's all right. So yeah, all those alpha eggs are going to add up, you know, it's going to be really useful and we're going to be able to get a hell of a lot of elemental kibble specifically because of those alpha dinos. So now they're all set to collect the eggs and we should be having a ton more of the alpha eggs in no time. So I say we go ahead and try and get a male, you know, I want to breed these things. I'd love to check this thing out, but I would rather... I don't know. I mean, should we go in the feather light? Yeah, why the hell not, right? When in Rome. If we die, though, we do lose it. 
All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it has been a while. We had to do a dino wipe. Can we take this thing on? Man, this is a massive alpha carcanus. Nice. So we did a wild dino wipe, and we're trying to look for a male so that we can breed these two. At least you guys can hear me now. This is that. Ooh, male. That was easy. Right? Oh, look at all these flies. So, oh. are they just an effect? I think they're just an effect. Wait, is that a skin crate? No, it's a loot crate. All right. Um, what we could do, I think we might have to. Oh, God, can we get a teleporter here? By any chance? No. Damn it. Could have got one before I came. Right. We're going to have to risk this. I'm dead. Need to get out of here. Man, that was close. That guy did not want to be knocked out. He requires five elemental kibble and he is a 220. You think we can do it? I think we can do it. Come on. We got him! Oh my god, we got him. We got him. Breedable elemental feather lights. That is absolutely insane. Oh my god. Oh my god. Two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, can we add a tame help, Bran? This is incredible. I also got myself a soul gun as well. So now we can just shoot the guys we want to uh, protect. And pick them up really easy. Absolutely incredible. I'll meet you guys back at the base. we got to get these things bred immediately. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy. How do I get out of this cave again? Um, okay, it was through here. Then we went over the giant crystal ledge. And then it was just up here. Through here and to the left, maybe? Did I did I remember that correctly? Oh my god, I did. That is insane. No, 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 no. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Man, that was close. Oh my god. The server's lagging out so much. That guy was so powerful. All right, I say we breed these things and get some beautiful feather light babies. Can you can you let me off, buddy? Let me off. There we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, the server's lagging out so much due to that spirit wreck. I'm so happy we didn't die, though, because now we get to breed them. Look at that. We got mate boost. Oh, wow. I never noticed the different color patterns before. These things are amazing. I just want to get them lined up perfectly because, you know, you gotta make them look cool. All right, guys, we got them all put out now so we can just go behavior, enable mating, and behavior. The tails are so big. Enable mating. Can we, can we see if they're mating? Can we just go around the other area? So many campfires in the way. Okay, yes! Okay, they are mateable. So we have the second tier of flyers that we can actually breed as well. Not to mention, they give us the other type of eggs. So we should actually be collecting, and I did collect some already, the elemental eggs, which will get us the apex kibble for apex dinosaurs. I'm so happy with these things. We gotta test them out. We gotta test them out. Guys, it just laid the egg and look how colorful it is. Oh, that is so beautiful. I love it. Oh my god, I, I can't believe the eggs look like that. It, it must have got picked up by the egg collector. Oh, that is amazing. I'm going to get a couple more uh, laid out and then we can hatch these things. Ah, oh, there's our second one, guys. All right, guys, we're about to get our third egg any second now. And you can do it. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. Okay, guys, they are going to hatch any minute now. I'm really looking forward to this. I wonder what color they're going to be. 
I hope we get some beautiful colored ones like the male. Oh my god, we did! That is amazing! What's going on with your brothers and sisters? Are they taking their own time to hatch? Okay, the others are going to be hatching any minute now, but I love this one. I wanted the multicolored one. I'm so happy with this. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> we got a green one. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, just the last little egg taking his time. You can do it. Come on, little guy. Oh, he's beautiful. He just jumped off the edge. <laughs> Oh, that is so amazing. We got one multicolored one and two that take after the mother. I absolutely love these things. Let's check them out. A 326, a 305, and a 304. That's amazing. The high level one is the multicolored one as well. I love that so much. Are they all female? We got a female, a female, and a male. Amazing. So we can actually rebreed these things. That is absolutely incredible. I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to take this one, and you're going to be my new flyer. I am so happy to see you, little guy. All right, guys, first imprint, and it's Tinto Berries. 14% imprinting, but this is going to take a while, huh? I'm going to imprint this guy to max, and I'm not going to show it on camera because I've done that way too many times before but i love him so much he is so adorable and i'll see you guys back when he's fully grown and we can check him out i also got the these two breeding in the meantime to get some backup man they're getting so many eggs accidentally rid him there we go all right guys it is fully imprinted now it's been about an hour it did 14 percent per imprint so it's not really it's not really easy to raise those things, but means as it isn't grown up yet and the time is running short, I say we just go out and test our amazing feather lights. I'm going to go on the mail for now. So, yeah, Cause, just because I like the color patterns. Ooh, yeah, I'm... Uh, Twenty-seven thousand. If we get hit again, we're dead. Man, that is not fun. I don't know how we got out of there. All right, guys. First attack. Two thousand to boot, just like the mother. I just want to see how powerful these guys will be at maximum level. Let's put a level up counter in him as well, just so we don't go over the maximum level. 4,000 with a flamethrower. I like that. And the irregular hit is... Did it just steal all our meat? Oh, you're dead. I'm going to need more meat, so... Yeah. Man, that guy sucks. That was like 600 meat we had. Guys, we could go for the apexes right now. We're not powerful enough. Until this guy gets to maximum level, he's not powerful enough to take on an Apex, which kind of sucks. Ah, because the Elementals can take on Apexes when they're fully leveled out. But we're not powerful enough yet because they've got millions of health. Man, I just love the Flamethrower attack so damn much. We're doing 8,000 already? Oh my god, we got it. Did we get any good stuff as well? Eh, decent crossbow, I guess. Ooh, let's avoid that area there. All right, guys, fabled Bronto, here we go. Okay, no, not powerful enough yet. I mean, we are, but it's gonna take a while. We gotta be careful, it doesn't hit us. If it hits us, we might die here. It's got 1.1K percentage of a damage. That could easily one hit us. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful here. And dead. We didn't get the kill, though, which is kind of unfortunate. Alpha Mammoth. Dead. Ooh, look at this RG. Oh, it's a normal Argentavis. I thought it was an Alpha. All right, guys, we are near base, but keep in mind there's a oh, Celestial Rex. I hate that thing. Powered down, it's powered down, it's powered down. It's powering up. I'm dead. I am so dead. I'm so dead. 
Oh my god, I hate that. Fingers crossed when the server does it re its rewipe. Tomorrow we will not have to deal with that. All right, guys, welcome back to the base. So we did a lot in this episode. This guy is so overpowered. I cannot believe how insane the feather lights were. We also, in the next episode, we can get to the apex tier and actually get the apex griffin. So I'm really happy with that. Also, it wouldn't be uh, the worst thing in the world if we tried to breed a couple more of these... Um, what they called the elemental dinosaurs because we can get the apex eggs and yeah, yeah we can get the elemental eggs and start getting the apex kibble which would be absolutely amazing so i definitely want to breed some more of these plus this guy is getting really really big now i can't wait to try him out in the next episode we do have a name suggestion for this guy uh from bloodium so charizard i love it it's amazing. It is a brilliant name. Charizard for our amazing Alpha Dimorphodon. Awesome. I, l I love that because it's a Pokemon reference and I'm a huge Pokemon fan. So hell yeah. So the rest of you do not forget to leave a comment in the description for what you want the dinosaurs to be called. Because at the end of every episode we go through the... <laughs> we go through the suggestions from the previous episode and pick out all the most amazing name suggestions you guys leave in the comments. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm Real Sentinel. Peace out.